Good morning guys, it is Kitty and it is Thursday, so that's upload day. Um, I didn't know what I was going to upload today, I had no idea. Um, I haven't been on plan, I'm going to hold my hands up to that now. I do feel like I'm a bear, so during the winter months I eat and sleep, I hibernate, that's all I want to do, I mean look at that, that's still not going anywhere. Um, I've started doing my ring fit again which I really enjoy. It's one of my things that I do to like de-stress at the end of the day. Um, I do love it, it's, it is good. Do you like my giant glasses and how they so well reflect? Anyway, um, <laughs> I got distracted. That's happening a lot at the moment with all the stress. Um, as you can see, post shower, one day I might do a video where I've actually done my hair and my makeup. Today is not that day. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, I had no idea what I was going to make this video about. Not at all. And then I went on the Exante group this morning and somebody is putting up something about keto coffee. Keto coffee isn't a thing. Um, not specifically. Uh, there's no coffee in the world that drunk the right way isn't keto coffee. Coffee? Coffee? Coffee. This is turning into a coffee thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, there is no coffee in the world that isn't keto. Uh, you can get keto type coffees from Starbucks, from Costa, you can make them at home, you can get them from Greg's. <sighs> the reason that I'm so angry about this and so upset that the admins in the group let this happen is because keto coffee, when it's sold like that, is part of an MLM. An MLM is a pyramid scheme. I don't care what you say about it. I don't think, I don't care if you're like, oh no, no, every job is a pyramid scheme. It's not. You've paid to be part of this company. You claim to be the CEO, you're not. And it's a multi-level marketing scheme. That's all it is. And it's, for want of a better word, it's bullshit. I know I can't get sued for that. Penn and Teller proved that you cannot get sued for saying the word bullshit about something because it's not in the laws of libel. Um, MLMs are bullshit. That's the only thing that I can say about them. And advertising your pyramid scheme, your MLM, in a group where people are trying to better themselves, are trying to give themselves the extra chance at a better life is nothing short of disgusting. I'm absolutely disgusted. Um, I'm literally shaking with anger. <laughs> it's not something that you should feel happy about doing. Um, great, if you're making money off of it, brilliant, that's fantastic. There may be 14 people underneath you who are struggling to make ends meet. If you don't believe me, please do go and Google. Sorry, I'm putting some extra cream on because my hand is really dry. I get dry when I get angry. I'm like a lizard. Um, please go Google the income disclosures. 90% of people in the majority, and that's me being gracious with the amounts, make less than five dollars a year and that's the american income disclosures that i've seen um i'm just so angry about it it should not be allowed there is an exante buy and sell group i think that's fantastic i think if you do find products that you don't particularly like but other people might by all means sell them to each other swap them do what you need to do there's a really fantastic group which has 200 calorie meal ideas they're amazing as well. But please do not take advantage of people at their vulnerable times by coming on to a support group and offering false promises. Every single coffee in the world is keto coffee. It's got caffeine in it. If you drink it black, it's got no calories whatsoever. Um, if you have it with cream, like full, like double cream, as long as, as it's not a low fat variant, it's a keto coffee. Do you get what I'm saying? I don't want to be this angry this early in the morning, but I felt like I had to say something. Um, back to me. <laughs> back to me, that sounds so selfish. I'm wearing my shine trousers. 
I freaking love these things. But I've got a gut again. I'm not happy about that. My chin has come back. Um, I still got like this weird line thing, which I think when this goes, might actually make me look a bit better. But I feel like I'm gonna have a really pointy chin. Um, I did weigh myself this morning and I haven't gone up and I haven't gone down. Um, I'm not sticking to the diet religiously, but I'm also not eating half as much crap as I used to. If I'd gone back to how I was eating last year, like specifically this time last year, um, I would be putting on at least two pounds a day. And I'm being honest with myself with that. I know why I do it. And it's primarily because this stops working. Um, I get bored, I get distracted, and I shovel food in my face. I know what my triggers are. I know that sometimes there's no way to avoid them, especially during the winter months and we're not going out, we're not doing anything. So I do get mama bear-esque. I get protective of other people. I get sleepy. I I just want to hibernate, like, especially with the house stuff as well. I'm so ridiculously stressed out about the house. Um, it sort of felt like it was hurry up and wait. So we had to get everything out and do everything and pay all the little bits and do the get the starting. Um, and now we're just waiting. And I've got every everything crossed. That looks so weird. Um, I've got everything crossed. Like, even my legs are crossed. Um, that we can get this completed before March. Uh, because that's when the stamp duty in the UK comes back. And I don't think first-time buyers have to pay it anyway but I want to be 100% because that could be an extra grand and a half, which I don't want to pay because I'm tight. <laughs> I'm very tight with my money. <clears throat> so what we are, the state we're at now is we're waiting for the surveys, we're waiting for the valuation to come through. Once that's come through, I should get the okay for everything else. And then Bob's your uncle or your brother. You might have a brother, Bob. So, in conclusion, <laughs> sorry for the ranty vlog. Number one, don't sell your MLMs in vulnerable locations. If you must, must sell them, do it in a nice way. Like, do your research, find out, and don't be brainwashed by this. Like, you're not a Scientologist, you're not in a cult. They're cult-esque, but you can do your research on this. Um, number two, I'm a bear and I hibernate. I would love to hibernate. That'd be amazing. And number three, house buying is stressful. Oh, and number four, I haven't put on any weight or lost any weight. Bye, yes. Anyway, um, if you guys aren't already and you would like to be, please do hit that button down below and subscribe. Become part of the kitten family. Become a Kindle or part of our Kindle. Words. Um, like, comment, share, do whatever you need to do. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye.